वेलकम एवरीवन एंड नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेकंड पोर्शन ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मोल एंड दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मोल इन टर्म्स ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स व्हेन वी डील द मोल कॉन्सेप्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स वी कम अक्रॉस अनदर टर्म व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज एवोगेड्रोस नंबर एमिडो एवोगेड्रो ही वाज अ साइंटिस्ट हु कैलकुलेटेड द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इन वन मोल ऑफ एनी सब्सटेंस and that's why we call it the avogadro's number how can we define the avogadro's number number of particles now these particles can be atoms molecules formula units or ions so number of particles depending upon the nature of the substance under consideration these particles can be atoms in case of elements molecules in case of molecular substance formula unit in case of ionic compound or ions in case of the ionic species present in one mole of a substance this is the definition of the avogadro's number now what is the symbol which is used for avogadro's number the most common use symbol is na avogadro's number but in some books even l is used to represent the avogadro's number now what is its value it is equal to 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 let us discuss some examples related to avogadro's number when we say that we have 12 gram of carbon that is equal to its one mole and it is equal to 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms because it is an element so it will be consisting of atoms 18 gram of water is equal to 1 mole and that also has 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 but not atoms rather than molecules 58.5 gram of nacl is equal to 1 mole and that is equal to 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 formula units similarly 17 g of oh negative that is equal to 1 mole and it is equal to 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 ions so i have given four examples because there are four types of the particles and there are four types of the substances so in order to make this concept clear to you people i have given four examples now how we can calculate the mole from number of particles number of mole is equal to number of particles divided by 
Avogadro's number. This formula can also be rearranged at number of particles that is equal to number of moles multiplied by Avogadro's number. Now this formula can also be written as if the mole is not given but the given is the mass in gram then mass in gram divided by molar mass multiplied by Avogadro's number. So these are some important formulas which are required in the calculations when we will be performing some calculations. These formulas will be very important for us. Now let us start from some simple example. <clears throat> I have 6 gram of carbon calculate the number of atoms in it so how can we calculate the number of atoms number of atoms is equal to mass in gram this formula will be used 6 gram molar mass 12 into 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 that will be 1 over 2 and it will come out to be 3.01 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms <clears throat> so that was one of the example to calculate the number of atoms Similarly, if the number of atoms are given, suppose the question is that 3.01 into 10 is per 23 atoms of carbon are there. How many number of moles? Then this 3.01 into 10 is per 23, that will be the number of particles and it will be divided by Avogadro's number and the number of mole will be 0.5. <clears throat> Let us calculate another value. We have 18 gram of water. How many number of molecules are there? We can see that 18 gram of water is 1 mole and it has 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. But if we ask that 18 gram of water is there, first of all it means it is 1 mole. Second, it has 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. Now the required is how many hydrogen atoms are there in 18 gram of water. When you see that the species given to us that is a molecular compound or molecular substance and we are not required to calculate the number of molecules but the number of atoms are required then we will have to modify the formula we will modify this formula number of particles no the species given is molecular but the required is atoms so we will use number of atoms is equal to number of moles into Avogadro's number into atomicity now the question was how many hydrogen atoms are there in 18 gram of water. So number of hydrogen atoms, number of hydrogen atoms, mole, 18 gram is 1 mole into Avogadro's number, 6.02 into 10 is per 23. Now the atomicity of water is 3, but what is required? not total number of atoms if the total number of atoms are required then we will multiply it with 3 but now the number of hydrogen atoms are required so we will multiply it with the atomicity of hydrogen and that will be 
two because there are two atoms of hydrogen in one molecule of water. So it will come out to be twelve point zero four into ten raised to power twenty three, or one point two zero four into ten raised to power twenty four. So this one is the number of hydrogen atoms. If the number of oxygen atoms are required, formula will be same. But instead of two, we will multiply it with one because there is one oxygen atom in it. If total number of atoms are required, then we will multiply it with three. So three is the atomicity when we will multiply it with three when the total number of atoms in eighteen gram of water are required. No, he. The question is that we have eighteen gram of water. But you are required to calculate the number of electrons in it. Number of electrons. Now the formula will be mole into Avogadro's number. This portion will remain same in all cases, multiplied by electrons per species. Electrons per species mean how many electrons are there in one species, which is under our consideration. Now, in one molecule of water, you know that two electrons of hydrogen and eight electrons of oxygen. There are total ten electrons. So, mole is one. Six point zero two into ten is four twenty three. Into ten that will be six point zero two into ten is to power. Twenty-four. If the number of protons are required, that will be equal because water is neutral species, so the number of electron must be equal to number of proton. But if the number of neutrons are required, that will be different. Why? Because in one water molecule, hydrogen has no neutron, only oxygen has eight neutrons. So instead of this ten, we will multiply with. Eight. If the number of protons are required, then protons per species. If the number of neutrons are required, then neutrons per species. No. We have eighteen gram of water, but required is to calculate the number of covalent bonds in it. You know, there are two covalent bonds per water molecule. So the formula will be. Now covalent bonds are required. Number of covalent bonds. The formula will be mole into Avogadro's number. As I have already mentioned, that this portion remains same in all the cases. Multiplied by covalent bonds per species. Now mole are one. Into six point zero two into ten raised to power twenty three, and one species has how many covalent bonds? That is two. So that will be twelve point zero four into ten raised to power twenty three, or one point two zero four into ten raised to power twenty four. This is the total number of covalent bonds in eighteen gram of water. So in this way. You can solve any numerical in which the mass of in gram is given, moles are required, number of molecules are required, number of atoms are required, number of electrons, protons, neutrons, total fundamental particles. Because when you find the number of electron, proton, and neutron, you will simply sum them up. That will be the total number of fundamental particles, and similarly the total number of covalent bonds that can also be calculated from this data very easily. the required is just to keep the formula in your mind <clears throat> now if we take 1 over n a what is 1 over n a that is reciprocal of avogadro's number it is called as avogram The reciprocal of Avogadro's number is called as Avogram. Now look at that. We will calculate its value. 
that is equal to 1 divided by 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23. You can calculate by using calculator or simply in a manual way. 1 over 6.02 that will be equal to 0 0.166. This 10 raised to power 23 it will move upward and it will become 10 raised to power minus 23. I can write this value as 1.66 into 10 raised to power minus 24. <clears throat> and if we are dealing it in grams because the molar calculations are always in the grams that will be 1.66 into 10 is per minus 24 grams and if you remember that 1.66 into 10 is per 20 minus 24 gram that is actually equal to 1 amu so it is equal to 1 am. Now the AMU is reciprocal of Avogadro's number. I can write it down that 1 over Na is equal to 1 AMU. And it is very simple. If you know even basic of the basics of the mathematics, you can write it down that Na and AMU can be replaced. So 1 over AMU is equal to NA. Now don't confuse that I have written here 1 and there is no 1 because 1 is always present and 1 is always present everywhere. So 1 over AMU is equal to NA. Now I am giving you some results that AMU is reciprocal of Avogadro's number and Avogadro's number is reciprocal of AMU. This is a very important point. Now, <clears throat> you know that in North America especially, there is a day which is cel celebrated, it is called as Moles Day. Now the Moles Day is on 23rd October and the timing is 6 to AM to PM. This Moles Day is actually derived from the Avogadro's number. 23 October is the 10th month. So it will be 10 raised to power minus 23. 23rd October and 10th is the month. And this timing is actually 6.02. So from Avogadro's number, the mole stay is derived. And it is on 23rd October, especially in North America, it is celebrated. It was just for creating some interest, nothing else. So this was the discussion about the Avogadro's number and the calculations which are based on the Avogadro's number. And in a very simple manner, I tried to explain the concept of mole in terms of the number of particles. Keep in mind that these are some basic lectures about the concept of moles and there will be a lecture at the end in which only MCQs will be discussed about the concept of mole so that this idea should be very clear to you people as it is very important. Next time we will come up with the number of moles in terms of volume of gases. Till then, Allah Hafiz.